Yo, Mabuha and what's good? If you're new to Thetan Arena, here are 10 tips that will help you get off to a good start. We're bringing back the old intro for this one, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're not wasting any time. We're going to head straight into it. The number one tip for beginners is to change your hotkeys. Uh, if you're playing on PC, you can change your hotkeys to pretty much anything you want. I personally don't like what it's set up uh, as default, so I change my hotkeys to what you see here. Number two on the list is use your microphone. If you're playing on mobile, guys, you will have the option to use your microphone in battle. Just like all MOBAs, communication is key. Uh, I don't care if the enemy is using legendary characters, if you and your teammates can all get on the same page using your mics or discord channel, you'll have the ultimate advantage over those who aren't. Even though the sound quality is a bit rough on the in-game talk feature, it works and I'm happy to see it implemented nicely in an NFT game. Alright, number three, spread out. This one might be obvious to most, but I see a lot of new players making this mistake often. You need to spread out and keep a bit of distance from your teammates. Thetan Arena has a lot of CC, or what we call crowd control abilities, that are meant to punish anyone who isn't paying attention. By the time you've leveled up to your first rank, you've probably been wrecked by a few black holes, ice balls, and bullet storms. This is just a friendly reminder to keep moving and don't stack up on top of your friends. All right, number four guys is watch different areas. So tip number four works hand in hand with tip number three. If you're spreading out from your teammates properly, then you won't have any problems watching different areas of the battlefield. If you haven't noticed yet, the battle screen is very small and it doesn't give you a wide view of the entire battlefield. There are blind spots everywhere and all of the bushes don't help at all. It's very easy to get rotated on or backdoored by your enemy if your team's only focused on one lane. There should be at least two other teammates covering top, mid, or bottom at all times, ready to rotate and help the other teammates out when the enemy decides to push. Number five, use your cover. Thetan Arena is a game of angles. LOA, or what we call line of sight, is crucial in each battle, especially for characters who have long range such as marksmen. Walls, towers, gift boxes, pots, everything can be used as cover, but learning how to utilize them properly is what separates the winners from the losers. Learn what skills are able to destroy or go through walls so you know if you're safe or not and also so you can deploy something similar onto your opponents. Also know that utilizing exact positioning behind any cover might be enough for you to survive a few bullets. All right, number six, guys, is don't spam your attacks. I gotta admit, this one is a little bit more difficult to master. I myself practice this every match, and I still have trouble with it. Every character has a different attack speed, and their energy will reload accordingly. What this means is during your match, for example, you're going 1v1 versus an opponent, there's a good chance that both of you will be waiting for your attack to reload before you can actually kill each other. This means that every shot matters. It's easy to spam your attack button, but matchups are often a game of mistakes. And if you just make one mistake, you are dead. So practice your aim, timing, and energy consumption, and you'll have a better advantage over your opponents. All right, number seven, guys, is don't go solo. I know that's not rocket science. Uh, a lot of you already know that. Wandering off from your team is never a good idea. But what I really mean is don't go solo, especially early game. The reason I say this is because nearly all characters can't take out a gift box in one energy cycle or in one clip like we discussed. What this means is you'll be waiting around for your energy to reload before you can actually take out a gift box by yourself. And if you played the tower or superstar game mode already, you've probably noticed that you only have 20 seconds until the first battery or star appears in the middle. So if you want to get a good start to the match, make sure you and a buddy are taking down boxes and collecting those orbs together. And that should be enough to get one of your skills activated so you can use it in the clash in the center. 
All right, number eight is easy. It's use the bushes. And I know a lot of you already know this as it's common sense, uh, but I kind of want to expand on it. Not only do you want to use the bushes, you also want to kind of memorize the routes. Some bushes can span a good portion of the map and can sneak you up close to your enemy or objective pretty quickly. And also from a defensive standpoint, you'll be able to anticipate a flank and cover it accordingly. All right, we're closing in on the end here, guys. We're at number nine, heal when you're not farming. After a game or two, you'll probably notice that your character actually heals when they're idle or when they're not attacking or they're not being attacked. You'll need to really use this to your advantage because if your opponent is any good, they'll be using the same strategy against you. So what I like to do is to attack and burst. I pop in, hit my enemy a few times, and if I get hit, I'll back out and I'll heal up a little bit. If my enemy didn't take the time to heal just like I did, I'll have the advantage going into the second face off. While I'm healing, I can also use this time to close in on my opponents, gather up with my teammates, move closer to the boxes that I'm planning to farm, or just get better positioning on some key targets. All right, closing in at number 10, guys, the most important tip of all the tips we talked about today is to know your role. If you haven't noticed yet, Thetan Arena is not a game about getting the most kills every match. It's a game of teamwork and winning the match together. The only exception to this would be the assassin whose role is to actually kill everyone they can. But yeah, I know a lot of you might want to get some extra points or stats, but would you do it at the cost of a match? That's the question right there. Ask yourself if you want to be the hero or do you want to win the game with your team earning that THC and PP points. So what this means is if you're a tank, you got to protect your, your teammates, the battery, the star holder. Um, if you're a healer, you want to sustain your team and stay alive as much as you can because players that know how to leverage their character's abilities and synergize well with their team can wreck any other team in their way. This should be the goal of any serious Thetan team out there. And as of now, guys, you know the game is very expensive and costly, even for the free to play players. Every single match counts. So don't be that person who disappoints your teammates, you know, by being selfish. So there you have it, guys 10 tips that every new Thetan Arena player should be doing. To be honest, the game is really simple to get into and play, but the matches are so short and the battlefield is so small that every action and inaction actually matters. So just do your part in being the best player that you can be for your team, and I promise you, you are gonna be winning more matches in the long run. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give this one a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more Thetan Arena gameplay or tutorials just like this one, don't forget to subscribe down below. I already have more Thetan Arena content in the works, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, guys, happy farming, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.